Hey guys, it's Vivit, and welcome back to another video. So as you see, this is something a little bit different to what I normally do. Now you'll see I'm actually on 07 scape as opposed to RuneScape 3, and you'll see my name is different. Now, obviously, I've got my Vivit's account, which is my main account, and I'll play on RS3. And I'm currently getting complete escape on that account. Uh, sorry, give me a second. I don't know why I was yawning there, I'm not even tired. But, uh... Basically, so yeah, like I was saying, I got my Vivas account, which is RS3, and then I've also got this Kind Poon account, which is uh, on my 07, on my 07 scape, I guess. And um, basically, what this account's for is one of, well, first of all, to AFK skills while I can train completion escape, uh, and the and the and the goal is kind of just to get you know like the the max gear, obviously like 80, probably 80 base stats. And then just be able to go to bosses, like if Nex comes out, I don't even know if Nex is out, but I highly doubt Nex is out. If Nex comes out, I'll, I'll be able to do Nex. But I want to be able to do Armadil and Bandos and Sarodome and, and all those hectic bosses. And it's not so much just killing them, because I think killing them wouldn't be too hard. It's just the uh, the prestige of getting those drops and the excitement you get. And, um, you know, it seems to be more rewarding if you do it in 07 skate, because... The, uh, the GP is worth more. Uh, let's say you get 1 mil, it's worth more than 1 mil in RuneScape 3. So, uh, if I can manage to get all, the, all that money in RuneScape 3, I mean, 07 scape, I'll just, it just feels like it's more rewarding. And, you know, when things are more rewarding, things get more fun. Well, this is going to be like the first sort of progress video, just to see how I'm going. Now, uh, you know, if you're not a fan of 07 scape, you know, um, I appreciate you if you're watching this video. But if you are, you know, let me know in the comments. Because I'm going to make one of these progress videos maybe once a month or something like that. Or just whenever I feel like it, I think I'm going to do. So whenever I feel like it, and whenever I hit like milestones and things like that, to start the video, to start the progress video off, um, I've got 33 attack, 30 strength, but the main highlights are 43 magic, uh, 47 wool cutting, maybe 31 crafting, and like mining and smithing. Now to get obviously attack and strength, waterfall quest, as simple as that, took me 15 minutes to do, which is, uh, you know, easy 30 attack and 30 strength. Uh, 33 quest points, which isn't too bad, about my combat level was 32. I've also got 43 magic, which I did from... Um, 1 to 13, it was like Wind Strike and Water Strike and Earth Strike and stuff. We're going to hit 13. 13 to 19 was water, uh, Fire Strike. And from 19 to 43 was um, Curse. And I'm going to be using Curse from 44, uh, 43 to 45 as well. So I can hit that Camelot tab. But if I'm, if I'm not that rich, because I'm not that rich right now, um, I'll be able to use... Uh, f well, I might use Curse till... Like 51 or something like that. I don't know. And then, I'll, oh, 55. Maybe we might use Curse to 55 and then use High Out because that sounds like a plan. But, it, uh, I don't know. If you guys have some some sort of other efficient training method that can get me to high levels, I would appreciate it if you could let me know in the comments. But, yeah. So, I'm just chilling here at the woodcutting place, the Willows Trees at South of Camelot. And, you know, I'm kind of just AFKing woodcutting while I'm doing things on my RuneScape 3 account because I really need to get those completion escape requirements done. Now, they're really starting to be a pain in the butt. Because I need to get that Livid Farm done. I haven't even reached that halfway point for Livid Farm, which is really sad. And I just want to get the Livid Farm done out of the way because I've got to do all the quests, all the tasks. I've got to do a lot of other stuff as well, like the, um, I've got to do the Charm Sprites, I think it is. I don't know how long that will take. And as well as, like, get those, the Mor the Mauritania task is going to be an absolute pain as well. So I do have a lot of stuff to do, but that means a lot of AFKing on this account. So if I get to, like, maybe 60 or 70 attack and strength, I can just AFK at the Nightmare Zone, if I know how to use that, or I might just train out an experiment, so I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out, but uh, I'm just going to be AFKing this account while getting completion escape on the other account, on the other account, which is Vvids, but I thought I'd just leave you guys with, um, well, I thought I'd just give you guys a little update video on my RuneScape 2007 progress, but, uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and let me know in the comments, but apart from that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.